vlog time. And yeah, not a drink to be seen in sight. To prove it, look at that. Fucking empty. Until tonight. Probably have one or two tonight. Just received my free Tesco £10 gift card. Care of the sun. Come in handy because I'll be uh, going to Tesco tomorrow. That'll get me a bottle of vodka. All you got to do, or all I had to do, or all you had to do, fucking hell, is just collect little tokens out of the sun and send it off and then ten pound better than a kick at the ass like i say that'll get me a bottle of vodka uh yeah children in need I'm gonna waffle about in this one and uh by the way for my overseas friends children in need is like a, a charity um people donate to it have sponsored they get sponsored do something and it helps it's an organization that help children in need you know for whatever all sorts of needs like from you know hardship no family disabilities everything all across the board and it's always in November uh, yeah last well recently I was in Ogwin Valley, uh, scaling, you know, one of the, the mountains, and there was this fucking helicopter. It was going round and round, and I featured it in my uh, video. I think it was the Voil Gorg mountain that I was climbing, anyway. But this fucking helicopter, you know, and in the Ogwin Valley, if, you've, if you're a regular and you see my walking videos and what have you. Um, that fucking backlighting should be okay yeah you know you do get the odd chopper goes past and that's it or you, you might see a you know a, a rescue or what have you but this fucking helicopter it was fucking all day ever since i was there i was there arrived about 10 o'clock and i left i don't know about half past three or something and the fucking hell it used to and it was up over travan there's a mountain called travan and it, it was towards the south summit and like I say in the video my walk or climb video I had featured it I filmed it and taught you know mentioned it and what have you but you know it was, I was wondering what it was doing why it was there all fucking day and then it would disappear then you wouldn't see it for about half an hour then and then it'd be back and it'd be circling over it, was, it seemed to concentrate over Travan so I thought, you know, strange, like, like I say, you know, you just, sometimes you just see, a, sometimes you just see nothing, but you'll just see a helicopter go past and that's it. It's nothing then, but this fucking thing was there all day. Anyway, last night, some of you may have seen it, Country File, um, that featured uh, Children in Need Ramble, it's called, they were raising money for Children in Need, and they were walking, they had organised walks, well, rambles, they called them, for you know, different parts of the country. And one of them that featured was Travan. And it was Matt Baker. Um, and, like I say, there was others doing it. But uh, they started off at the bottom of Travan by uh, you know, Little Travan, Travan Bach, which is Little Travan. And then they, they made it to a place called the Heather Terrace. It's about, it's a, like a... A walk, like a bit of a, not a ridge, but, you know, a bit of a scree walk. About halfway up the side of Travan, then they make it to Bulch Travan. Anyway, and that's it. And there was the the, the girl, that you know, the children in need, um, had the, this disability that was with them, with the group. There was about 20 of them, I think, something like that. Had, you know, vision problems, poor visibility. Um, she could only see probably about a few inches you know she had very difficulty walking and that's what they were doing on this climb so that was what the helicopter was you know in the shots I was watching it on telly last night and that was doing the aerial shots for this this children in need you know they call it a ramble the others the other walks they featured they were a ramble but um, this walk I wouldn't call it exactly a ramble um, but it's it's for me, it's not a difficult walk, the Heather Terrace, up to Bulch Travan. And then they were returning 
by a, a Coombe Travan. But for this girl, it would be a fucking mammoth task. Anyway, like I say, they followed it, they filmed it, and you know you could see the aerial shots from this helicopter that I saw that day. Um, and they made it up to Bulch Travan, and she was what halfway up. She was a big achievement. She was crying her eyes out and all that. And I'm not surprised. For her, it was a fucking really big achievement. You know, because she could hardly fucking see. Never mind walk, like. And like I say, this was not a ramble. ramble. I wouldn't call that a ramble. But anyway, she made it to Bulk Travan and all of the other walkers were all ahead of her because obviously she was very slow. And they all lined up and they were all clapping and all that. And she was, oh, she was very emotional and that. And it was a big achievement. And then they asked her then, they said, well, do you want to, do you want to call it a day and make it back down? Or do you want to try and make it up to the south summit and she was oh, I want to make it to the south summit and I was thinking well as soon as she said that you know she's going to get a bit of the way up and she's going to get fucking stuck or have to turn back but she made it and like they were holding up this banner and you could see you know the, from the helicopter shot and then came the descent down they dropped down into um, Coombe Travan and all the way back down and you could see fucking hell and going back down if you've seen the program um going apparently walk, for her walking down she can hardly walk down the steps in the house you know never mind on Don scree and all that so it was a really it was fucking really interesting for me anyway especially the um the travan walk like i say there were other walks scotland island and in england and what have you but uh yeah fucking it was really interesting um, and 10 hours, I think it was 10 hours or 10 and a half hours. They started off, I think they said it was eight o'clock in the morning when they started the walk, and it was it was like 10 or 10 and a half hours later. It was pitch black by the time they got back down, but it was really it was fucking good. And hats off to her, fair to this, this girl that took part. Like I say, she had vis visibility problems, and that you know, let's do something like that. I'll tell you what. You know, a lot of normal fit people would struggle, but like I say, she took 10, 10 hours and all that. But you know, that's uh, that was a really fucking good achievement. That and she was very emotional, you know, and, um, when she got back down and whatever. You know, they had like a bit of a welcoming party committee there, you know, the, the friends, family, and friends, and whatever. But yeah, it was fucking good. So that you know, that day that that is what that helicopter was doing. So that's just I thought I would make this vlog and look, yeah, it's still fucking empty till tonight. So yeah, anyway, I'll leave you. I'll end this vlog with the, the shot that I took of the helicopter that was doing the aerial shots of this, uh, this well, country file. It was Children Need Ramble. <laughs>